Hey everyone, Janet here. Welcome back to my channel. So, we are on Wonder of the Seas, and tonight we're dining at 150 Central Park. So, we've been here before, actually on the Oasis of the Seas, and we had an excellent time. We really enjoyed the food. I'm hoping it's gonna be the same experience tonight. We just went through the menu. Um, be inserting some photos of the menu for you guys as well but we went through the menu and it's the same exact menu that we had about eight months ago on Oasis of the Seas at 150 Central Park so I do think we're gonna have a very similar if not identical experience which is good because the food is amazing here um, so we'll come back shortly as soon as we get our appetizers um, and an entrees give you an update stay tuned okay so we just got our Oh, bread, and it is uh, the pull-apart bread. This is really delightful, de very delicious. It's got truffle butter. You can kind of see a little bit on top of it. We're gonna dig into this now, and uh, we'll come back with our appetizers. Okay. So, hubby got the pork belly, and I got the short rib appetizer. They both look incredibly good. We're gonna get into it right now. Hi guys, I'm back. So, um, the appetizers. We, I told you I had the short rib, and hubby had the pork belly. The short rib was cooked to perfection. It actually just fell apart when you stuck your fork into it. It was a little bit um, fatty for my liking, but it's okay, I ate around the fat. Um, my husband, it did end up returning his dish just because it was a little bit too um, crunchy, the pork belly, and he ended up going with the um, same thing that I had, the short rib. So they politely exchanged it out. It was perfect. And that was cooked to perfection. He really enjoyed it. So we're waiting on our entrees right now. I ordered the lobster thermidor, and he ordered the venison the loin of venison. So we are patiently awaiting that. We're having a very relaxing experience here. It's just, we're taking everything in. The service is impeccable. And um, the drinks are lovely. <laughs> got some Moet uh, for myself. He got a, uh, a Sauvignon Blanc. And we're just enjoying our evening. It's fantastic, actually. So uh, we'll be back soon with an update on our entrees. Okay, so it's just arrived, my lobster thermidor. And it looks amazing. And he got the loin of venison. So we'll come back shortly and give you an update. All right, and lastly for dessert, we did get the peanut butter tart with blackberry currant sorbet. We got a cheese platter, as you can see, and he got the fried cheesecake. So we're gonna just dig into this and we'll report back shortly. Okay, I'm back, so um, recap of our entrees. So we had the loin of venison. My husband thought it was absolutely phenomenal. He loves it. It was cooked to perfection at medium rare temperature. It was really delicious. He finished his whole plate. I had gotten the lobster thermidor. Now, I, I've had the lobster thermidor at 150 Central Park before on the Oasis of the Seas eight months back. Uh, this was prepared differently. Um, in that one, it came in an entire lobster. It was like an entire lobster. And uh, they did the Thermidor sauce, and it was cooked, and it was coated in cheese. It was so good. It was, it was you know, jogging in my memory for the past eight months. So I was actually excited, um, hoping to eat that same lobster Thermidor again. This was prepared much differently. It was only a lobster tail, not the entire lobster. And um, it was split in two. And as you can see in the vid video, when I stick the pictures in the video in there, but it was, um, uh, I don't know. It was okay. I don't think I'd order it again after this. Um, I was disappointed for my last experience on the Oasis of the Seas at the 150 Central Park. So um, that's my overall thoughts and views. I wouldn't order that again. He definitely would order the venison loin again. 
I would order the short rib again, probably. Um, and he wouldn't get the pork belly again. Would I come back to Central Park 150, 150 Central Park again? Maybe. Um, maybe. I just have to play it by year and see if we're up for the experience again. But overall, it has been a very relaxing experience and the service has been nothing but exceptional. And anytime we had an issue with anything, they were here to fix it immediately and take it back, give us a replacement, entree. So everything's been to a very high standard. Again, this is one of the most upscale restaurants on the Oasis class ships. So, you know, I was a little disappointed in my entree. But um, you know what, it's a great experience and I think that everybody should definitely come at least once to try it and see if you like it. So that's my thoughts and overview. Um, please drop me questions in the comments or um, you know, if you haven't subscribed already, I'd really love a subscribe and a like and uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi guys, so now it's time for my final, final thoughts and review. I um, walked away, I just obviously shut my camera off, I walked away and we went upstairs to our room, we're going to change clothes and then go out for the evening and um, my husband and I both got violently ill, really sick from that food. Um, obviously, you know, it usually happens right after the food that you eat. It's not that I would blame it for something that we either ate at breakfast or lunchtime because we waited multiple hours in between each meal, like, God, six plus, six to eight hours, really, um, between each meal. So, I mean, we started not feeling well as we were walking out of 150 Central Park. And so when we got back to the room, we both started violently, like, throwing up. It wasn't good. Um... Will I be back to 150 Central Park? Just to correct what I had on video and shared with you guys, I said maybe, but absolutely not. I will not be back. I made um, complaints with the general manager there. I also made a complaint with the customer service desk as well, and I let them know our experience from Oasis of the Seas class to this class and, um, and our experience here at 150 and how sick we got. And... Um, you know, they said it was unfortunate, they apologized, but after our cruise, I did see on our Facebook group, there was a bunch of people who also found it very lackluster. I didn't see anybody who got sick like we did, but people just said it was complete night and day from other ships that they've been on and have experienced and had a great experience at 150 Central Park. So just to come back, Definitely will not be back at 150 Central Park, and I'm really glad to see, actually, they took it away from the new Icon of the Seas. So the Icon class of ships, they no longer actually even have Central Park. Um, the 150 Central Park restaurant, let me make my correction, they still have Central Park neighborhood. Um, yeah, just super disappointed. The food was horrific. And um, I really don't suggest anybody to eat at 150 Central Park after our experience in the Wonder of the Seas cruise ship. If you're on the Oasis of the Seas, that's a different story. Great experience at 150 Central Park there, but definitely, definitely not on Wonder of the Seas. I hope I've been helpful. If you guys do have questions, drop them down um, in the comments and I'll get back to you guys. If you have any questions about anything else on Wonder of the Seas that I could helpfully help you answer, please do leave those too. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.